In this episode of Dynamic Tech Tips, we're going to talk about catenary sag. Hi, my name is Paul Kaharvitz, and I'm here today with Justin Karras. He's a design engineer, uh, works primarily on the DynaClean uh, product line. It's our sanitary design conveyor for food. Um, Justin, what I want to explain to our viewers today is, uh, I hear you talk about it all the time, but I'm not so sure everyone gets it, but we're going to talk about catenary sag, and for our viewers' sake, the catenary sag is right here, this is the loose part of the belt, can you describe why it's there and, and why we need it? Yeah, so I'll start with what it is. The catenary sag is the tensionless portion of the belt on the return side of the conveyor, and it's just the natural curve between two points. It's the, the, kind of belly, we call it sometimes, that the belt will make at the bottom of the conveyor as a non-tension portion. So so this isn't a mistake. This, this needs to be here. It's designed into the conveyor? Correct. It's a, it's a it's an intended port part of the conveyor design. Um, it, it provides a lot of benefits, such as no tracking, so it becomes maintenance-free. And by tracking, I mean belt tracking. Okay, so so that side-to-side -side movement, we don't get that, or that, that prevents? A problem with side to side. Correct. Yep. Correct. We're not uh, adjusting two different tensioners on two sides of the belt to kind of create an uneven surface. So it's just naturally flowing around a straight idler back off. Yeah. And typically, the conveyors you design, I, I notice that the catenary sag is usually on the non-motorized end. But can it go somewhere else in the conveyor if need be? Yeah, depending on certain design restrictions that we have, it can be in other places. But we typically like it here. This is kind of where we push for the majority of the time. But given certain customer constraints, we can move it. Okay. And does the distance, uh, does the amount of sag change uh, in operation? Yeah, the, the sag distance or the amount of sag that's gathered in this location will change, will change depending on temperature and load. Okay. Does temperature of the room come into play at all or not? Yeah, so temperature expanded would be temperature of the room and temperature of the product. And just to make sure we're all on the same page, when you talk about load, you're talking about product weight the, on the conveyor. Yeah, how much product is on the conveyor at any given time. So more product, more weight would equal what in the catenary? That would equal a deeper catenary sag or a more catenary buildup of belt. Okay. Well, thanks for taking time. Do you have anything else you want to add? Yeah, I want to add in, just, just reiterate that it's intended to be there. That should be there on all of our DynaClean conveyors. And that it, it can't, you can't have too much sag. Um, too much sag just means you might have a high load and a high temperature going on the belt at one time, and it's gathering there, and it's supposed to do that. All right, well, thanks for your time. Thank you for watching this episode of Dynamic Tech Tips. Please feel free to like and share this page. If you have any questions, comments, or even some suggestions, leave them below. And thank you for watching.